<clears throat> Hello, this is James George with Sorcery Manufacturing with our next video in our series of Hobbyist to Pro. And that is taking you from a beginner who, who maybe has mastered 10 to 20 tricks, but you're thinking about taking it to the next level and getting a paid uh, gig, you know, maybe at a hotel or a restaurant and actually starting to earn some money from your magic. And in case you guys don't know who I am, I'm responsible for the invention of the ITR. And it's a, it's a unique tool in the magic industry that has been extremely successful. One of the best sellers of the last century. And it made me a millionaire before I was 30 years old. And uh, yeah, we'll get more into that story in a, a future episode. And I'll go into uh, you know my own story and what I learned, and I'm going to be sharing all of that with you. And for the time being, I've moved to Bangalore, India, and I've been performing here as a professional for the last five years, and uh, it's been quite the journey. And I've learned a lot from many magicians around the world. I've done shows in Thailand, Sri Lanka, the Maldives, and all over the world now as a performer and. What's unique about this is what I've learned, you know, performing from different audiences and I'm going to be sharing all of that with you on this channel and how to appeal, you know, maybe to children, adults, a more intelligent crowd, business people, engineers, software engineers, people who think more logically. You have to think about your audience and who you're engineering your act for, you know, if it's just, um, some ordinary restaurant or is it a really high-end restaurant you want to be thinking about how you dress you should always be dressing one step above of the clientele where you're working that's a very important thing also you know uh, grooming is extremely important your clothes should be cleaned ironed and you should look sharp and your fingernails you know should be trimmed and cleaned and you really want to think about the fine details in terms of your presentation and what you communicate. And this also sends, you know, a signal to yourself about caring about yourself and wanting to create the best possible product for the client who's paying you money and, you know, the people who are coming to that restaurant and paying big money to uh, enjoy the services that that hotel is offering. And, you know, uh, you play a key role. It, it's helpful to understand what you're there for. You know, if you if you don't have clarity on that, you really can't do your job as well as you could if you do have clarity on that. And that is, you know, making sure the customers are having a nice time uh, if they're having to wait. You know, if they're having to wait for their food to come and there's maybe 20 minute delay, you can make that time disappear and make the restaurant look great. And that's your job, you know. The number one job you have there is making that restaurant successful, not interfering with the wait staff, and also not making the wait staff feel like you're taking their tips, you know. And if you are taking tips, I would recommend you share a certain percentage back with the with the staff, you know, or maybe even give it all to the staff to be divided up, but that wouldn't hurt you. Then those guys are going to go out of their way to help you and make your job a lot easier and uh, just make it a lot more fun for everybody. And, and that way there's not this antagonism or them feeling like, you know, you're kind of a bad guy. You don't want, you don't want any negative energy coming towards you and you want everyone to feel great about you being there and bragging about you and telling people to come to the restaurant to see this fantastic magician who does these extraordinary things. And my job here is to train you to be thinking about the structure of your show and so you're presenting it in a manner that uh, has the most impact, uh, the storytelling, uh, the selection of the type of tricks you're going to do. You know, are they really entertaining or are they long-winded and boring? You know, we really need to get honest about some of the stuff I see on YouTube that I can't believe people would really perform in a professional environment on some of the stuff I've watched. Where the guy's dragging on for three or four minutes, he hasn't performed a single magic trick, and he hasn't really said anything, and he hasn't been very entertaining. 
you know, and I don't want that to be you, you know. And another powerful tool is be sure to get a video camera or maybe even a holder for your cell phone with one of those suction cup things so you can film yourself and take a hard look. You know, I think that's one of the most important and valuable tools that you can work with is a video camera while you're performing your magic for that video camera and go back and take a look at what you're doing. And you're going to learn so much from that, you know. And it's even better than, you know, a mirror. You may want to get two cameras so you can see like close up off to the angle. So you see what it looks like if someone's standing on the side of you as much as them in front of you. And that also comes down to the selection of the type of tricks that you want to perform. Can you do it surrounded? Can you do it with people on all angles and not get caught? You know, and the magic disappears. And that's the other thing too, you know, we'll be covering a lot of that. What if you do get caught? How do you kind of smooth that over? And we'll be doing that in another episode upcoming. But basically this video, I just want to introduce myself to you, who I am, and uh, you know, what my credentials are. I've only earned uh, money from magic over the past 40 years. I started a business in 1981 in Sacramento, California called Grand Illusions. And uh, it's still running today. It's a, clo it's a magic store in, uh, in California. But I've moved on, you know, I have my own company, Sorcery Manufacturing. We do manufacturing here in Bangalore, India, and we serve a lot of the famous names in the industry. And if you probably heard it, you know, we probably build stuff for them. And uh, we can build stuff for you too, you know, that's another thing. I find that myself, if I'm out there performing, that's what inspired me to create the ITR. I was out doing shows, I was doing a lot of corporate events, and uh, I just wanted to solve a problem and I saw an opportunity and I jumped on it. I just happened to be at the right place at the right time with the right idea. And I, I kind of have a mechanical nature to the way my brain works, just a natural gift you might say. And, uh, you know, I thought of a lot of, a lot of different things. I even worked on a lot of the products that in, ended up becoming pretty famous. Uh, and I won't go into that, but, you know, it's like, man, why didn't I push forward on that idea? I was working on that and then have someone else come along and solve it. You know, it happens to the best of us. So you don't want to be creating excuses. You want to be, you know, a, a lot of this is going to be about getting you to take action. And what are the steps that are, you know, that are keeping you stuck? Why are you afraid to get on the phone and maybe make a few phone calls to a, a restaurant and set an appointment with the manager so you can sit down and have a, a meeting with them and, and teach them why you're going to be a valuable asset to their company and what you're able to do for them, you know. And we'll get into that. I'll get into a lot of the sales techniques and trainings that you can use uh, to close deals and get yourself out there working and making great money performing magic. So I'm just going to go ahead and wrap this one up. It's going to be a short episode. If you have any questions and you have some things you'd specifically like me to cover, I'll do that in the next video, but I want to hear back from you. So post your comments below. What's troubling you now? What's getting in your way? What are you afraid of? And what do you, what do you need to learn? that's going to uh, help you to overcome all this and, and get to the next level. So your homework tonight, I want you to write down maybe two to three things you've been putting off that you know you should do that's going to take your magic career to the next level. And I also want you to post one or two things below on this video that you would like me to teach in an upcoming session and cover that's been plaguing you. And uh, I'm going to sign off now. So it's James George, Sorcery Manufacturing. Thank you guys for everything you do. And we'll get back to you next time.